Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new, I make a bunch of lifestyle, vlogs, wedding related content. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you subscribe and stick around. But today we have another video in the wedding planning process and it's actually putting together my wedding invitation. So I'm super excited for this video because you guys really seem to love my save the date video. If you haven't already seen that, I'll link it here. But this video is gonna be like 10 times better than that one because I was able to do them for so cheap, in my opinion, and they look amazing. They look so luxe and honestly expensive. So if you are looking to make your wedding invitations on a budget, make sure you keep on watching and we'll get right on into it. Okay, so first things first, I want to go over the invitations themselves. So I placed this order from Truly engaging by magnet street and i actually did my save the dates with them too this is not sponsored by the way i'm just really impressed by their services like they're so affordable compared to a lot of the other websites i was searching on so if you're looking for something very affordable definitely check them out they have a bunch of different like templates and styles and everything so here are my um my wedding invitations, I'm gonna cover up the address of the venue, but <laughs> you get the, ge the gist of it. So I just have like our names and all of it. It's just like simple black and white, exactly what I wanted. And then actually on the back, I went ahead and did our like additional details card. So I didn't have to print or get an additional card made, which is really a convenient way to do it. Honestly, I'm just not someone that wanted to spend a big part of my budget on my invites and if that's something that's important to you then go ahead do it that's just not where i personally wanted to spend my wedding budget so this is how i went about it additional details is on the back so like accommodations when to rsvp by um, and then i wrote all additional details can be found on our wedding website and i actually have this qr code that takes you right to the rsvp link on our wedding website which is really nice people can just put that qr code in um yeah and then i also have um stuff about like our ceremony will be unplugged all that kind of stuff but this qr code and doing this also allowed us not to do a separate rsvp card again just saving a few extra bucks and not sending an rsvp card to everybody because since we're doing a plated dinner they either said to send one card per person so it'd be like five RSVP cards going in the same envelope to some people or doing it this way. I found this way so much easier, so much more convenient, money efficient, all the things. So this is how we did it. And these are how the invites turned out. They're freaking beautiful. So I'm really happy with the way they came out. They're on a very hard card stock. So A plus in my opinion. And with your invitations, they also send you a bunch of cards. I went with the blank cards. They also have the option for them to print the addresses on for you, which is great. But again, I was saving my money. So I went ahead and I printed like everybody's names and addresses on the envelopes ourselves. I actually used the, well, I used the envelopes feature in Word. It was a little difficult to get the hang of. If you watched my save the date video, you probably saw that I did that then as well it's very tedious it's very time consuming but once you get the hang of it it goes really fast so that's what i did for all these obviously i don't want to show the addresses so i'm not going to show you the addresses but i just picked a very simple font that was easy to read all that kind of stuff so that's what i did for all of the envelopes if you saw our save the date video you probably also saw this so this is just a stamp with my address on it super easy i could just stamp all the envelopes and not have to rewrite my address a hundred times i feel like this is definitely a game changer and a great time saver if you did not want to get your envelopes printed i think it's like such a way such an easy way to save a lot of time when you're going to address all your envelopes this was like 20 dollars or so on etsy so super inexpensive and i really think it's worth it i can link the exact seller i bought it off of um, down below if you're interested but i really really love having a stamp it made it so easy so that's what i'm going to do with these envelopes and now we're going to get into making my my invitation super fancy and <laughs> special because this 
is awesome and it's a great beautiful card but i do want to make it a little bit more special something a little cool to open like it's not just like a card you're pulling out of an envelope so that is what we're going to do now and i'm going to show you exactly how i'm doing it so as i go through the invitations i'm going to kind of put them together in steps so i'm not just doing like one full invitation at a time so the first step that i'm going to do is take my invitation i have a little towel down just so i like don't get anything from my desk on the invite and I bought this massive thing of gold leaf. It's obviously fake gold leaf, but it does the trick. It's beautiful. And you get a massive tub of this stuff for like $5 or something. I'm going to have everything I use linked down below if you're interested. But I got this from Amazon. And I am going to actually gold leaf the two corners. So the top right, bottom left. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back. It's going to be like the left, top left, bottom right, just to match up on the side. So I'm going to gold leaf this and how I'll show you exactly how I do it. But I actually just have an Elmer's glue stick. I pat it and then I, with my finger, put the gold leaf on the two corners. So we're going to jump right on into it. So here's my gold leaf. Just a warning. This is very messy. So I'm just going to take a few of the flakes out so I can just easily, this sticks to your fingers, it's the messiest part of the process for sure, but trust me, it's worth it. So there's other, other things to do this with, but I chose an Elmer's glue stick. I honestly don't know if it's the best, but it worked fine. So what I do is just tap, let me see if I can get a better angle for you. I just tap it right on the corner. And then I grab with my finger a piece of the gold leaf and I just tap it right on there. Okay, so that is like the one, one corner. I'm also going to come down right here. You'll see in a second. So there is the one corner with the gold leaf. It's super pretty and I'm just going to keep going. part is now done all the gold is on the invites I obviously did the back too I just love the way this turns out I feel like this is a great way to make your invites a little special and different without like costing a fortune so if you just did this and put them in the envelope in the envelope that would be beautiful too so this definitely does take some time just a forewarning it probably took me what time is it maybe 40 maybe 40 so minutes to do all these but I definitely think it's worth it I think it's such a beautiful touch like even if you were just to do this and put them right in the envelope it'd be beautiful it'd be different it'd be unique and I think it would like your guests would really appreciate that little touch because it's beautiful and this whole thing like I said was five dollars or so off of Amazon so definitely super easy. I literally used almost none of it. It's still like above the cap line. So definitely a good way to spruce up your plain invites. Okay, so now we are moving on to the next little part of these invites. So I'm going to be using vellum for this next little part of making my invites super special and fun. So what I'm going to do is obviously, unfortunately, the, the um, vellum is not the same size that I need so what I'm gonna do is fold in so the the um, fold meets in the middle of the invite and then I'm going to trim that top little edge that we don't want on there with my paper cutter so this is also something super easy and cheap you could find on Amazon I can link a similar one but I'll also link the paper of course everything is going to be linked so you can recreate these invites for your own and I think these invites are going to come in like around 80 bucks for everything, all my Amazon stuff, everything that I bought for it. Because um, these invites from Magnet Street were like 60 bucks. So super affordable. I'm really happy with the way they are turning out. So I'm going to take my piece of vellum. 
and I'm going to take my invite and lay it right in the middle. And then I'm going to fold the corners over, making sure they're super straight. And just push really hard and make a really good crease on them. Obviously do the same thing over on this side. Okay. Now it just looks a little like this. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. I'm going to add a few more details, but now I'm going to put the invite to the bottom. And I'm just going to put it right through my little cutter and cut that edge off. So that piece comes off, and here is the invite now. So, gonna just keep on moving. So I put all of the invites in the vellum. They're all folded, cut. And we are moving on to the next part. So the next thing we're going to do is take this little thread. I got this off of Amazon as well, so it, it will be linked, but it's this 0.5 millimeter like wax thread. So it's like waxed, it's like, you can like stick it straight out, which is really cool. So I'm going to wrap this around the vellum probably two times and then I'm going to wax seal it. So I bought this wax seal off of Etsy. We also use this for our save the dates and like all of our other wedding type things that we have been doing. So this thing actually comes in really handy. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks and I think it's a great investment for wedding stationery and everything. Like if you want to buy it right in the beginning of your wedding planning process, I think it'd be great because then you can use it for your save the dates, your invites, your thank yous, your everything else you have to send. So I think this thing is great to have. Um, and I also bought wax sticks this time. If you saw my um, save the date video, you saw that I used wax that I melted like by hand over a flame and that was the biggest pain in the butt ever so I said in that video when I do my invites I'm getting wax sticks for my glue gun and that is what I did and I think it's going to be a lifesaver it's gonna be so much more efficient so these were also from Amazon I have my little glue gun here this is from Walmart but I will link a similar one below from Amazon I really don't think there will be any difference in glue gun I did hear that you need a low temperature glue gun so this one it's actually a dual temperature so i don't know why honestly but for some reason glue sticks like wax sticks like this um need a low temperature glue gun so this is the next part of this journey so now we have our string our invite wrapped in the vellum and i'm going to start the string on like the side here and wrap it around one full time and then back like this obviously I'm not that much of a professional <laughs> at this but then I just cross the strings over to have them kind of crisscross like this and right in the middle I'm going to put my wax and then stamp it Okay, so I go like that, and then I'm going to cut the excess and just have them come straight out. And then I'm gonna let that dry for a second. You can also like pull the, you can also pull these little guys apart. But that is what it's gonna look like. really crazy now I've been at this for quite a few hours so excuse the appearance but we have gone to the end pretty much I like to pull these little guys apart a little just so I don't know I just like the look kind of and then I straighten these out and that is pretty much the completed invitation and I literally love the way these came up like they came out I feel like they are 
so luxe and looks so nice and I feel like it just adds a little touch to your invite that was literally like $60 rather than buying invites like this which would be like upward of $500 I was looking at and I was like I just can't justify spending that much money on a piece of paper for my wedding when I have literally so many other things to spend for my wedding so that is where we're at I'm now going to take my envelopes and stamp them all just so I can start loading them in the envelopes and then I am pretty much done. I'm going to do one last final wax seal to close off the envelope. Officially on the last step of making the invites and that is just to put one final wax seal on the back of the envelopes to seal it I also did just seal the envelope normally just in case the wax seal like didn't completely close it I didn't want like something to get stuck under here and pop the wax seal off so I did make sure to normally seal the invites first and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the wax on so Invites are officially completed with the wax seal on the back of the envelope. Everything is now done and it took me a long time, but I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I hope you guys like them as well. I know you guys really love these types of videos. You seem to like my save the date one, which was a lot less intricate as this one. So hopefully this gave you some good ideas for your invites on how to save money and still make them look elegant and beautiful and expensive. So if you guys have stayed this long through the video and actually watched the whole thing, leave a ring emoji down below so I can know who stayed and who actually maybe found this video helpful or enjoyed it or whatever it may be. But I would love to know who actually stayed till the end. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. And it's just another part in the wedding planning journey. It's been a lot and there's still so much more to come. So if you do like the wedding planning content, make sure you subscribe, stick around. The wedding is like three months out now, so we're getting very, very close. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.